industries generate significant amount of biomass waste every single year. And sugarcane is one of the most widely consumed crop in tropical countries such as Malaysia. After the juice is extracted, huge amount of waste is produced, mainly the leftover juice and the bagasse, which is the fibrous pulp. And most of this waste is either thrown away or burned, which causes pollution and waste are valuable resources. At the same time, society faces two rising challenges. The rising of energy demand, where we heavily depend on non-renewable fossil fuels and plastic pollution due to single-use plastic plates and packaging that harms our environment by filling up our landfills. This research proposes an integrated innovation using sugarcane residue to generate electricity and biodegradable plates enhanced with nanotechnology for improved efficiency and durability. electricity from sugarcane juice using microbial fuel cell enhanced with nanostructured electrodes and to produce biodegradable plates from sugarcane bagasse reinforced with nanocellulose fibers for strength and faster composting. A microbial fuel cell MFC is a type of bioelectrochemical system that uses microorganisms to convert chemical energy into electrical energy by oxidizing organic matter such as wastewater and in our project we will be using leftover juices from sugarcane. Now, let me explain about methodology for microbial fuel cell. For this experiment, we need two plastic containers, carbon electrodes uh, with and without CNT coating, salt bridge via LED multimeter. Sugarcane juice is rich in sucrose, glucose and millet, which are perfect food for bacteria. In a microbial fuel cell, the anode chamber is carbon electrode in sugarcane juice. Bacteria metabolize sugars and release electron plus proton. The cathode chamber carbon electron in water. Electrons flow through external circuit protons through salt which completing the circuit. The result produced is measurable voltage and current enough to power a small LED. We also introduced the usage of carbon nanotube CNT. CNT are cylindrical structure of carbon atoms with nanometer scale diameters using carbon nanotube CNT coatings on electrodes, increases surface area for bacterial attachment, improves electron transfer efficiency, and result in higher electricity output compared to plain carbon electrodes. Biodegradable plate from bagasse. Materials, bagasse, starch binder, water, mold, and hot press. Bagasse is the fibrous residue left after sugarcane juice extraction. Instead of discarding or burning it, we turn it into eco-friendly plates. The process is how it folds. First, bagasse is dried and crushed into fine fibers. It is followed by mixture with the starch binder and add a small amount of water. Then, the pulp is pressed into a plate shaped mold under heat and pressure. Then, it is hardened into durable and compostable plates. Here, we introduce nanocellulose fiber. Nanocellulose is a material based on natural fibers of nanometric size and is mainly extracted from cellulose which is the main structural component of plant cell walls. One of the main characteristics of nanocellulose is its high mechanical resistance. In conclusion, we have shown that sugarcane waste can be transformed to two sustainable innovations. One, electricity through microbial fuel cells enhanced with nanostructured electrodes. Two, biodegradable plates enhanced strengthened with nanocellulose fibers. This zero waste model addresses global challenges in energy, environment, and agriculture. This shows how simple resources combined with nanotechnology and innovation can power a green circular economy.